Good morning, St. Thomas More. I left here last night, nine hours later, here I am back again. I want to congratulate the uh, grade nines on a great dance last night, well behaved. I want to thank the student council and the, all those teachers who volunteered their time last night, obviously also the administrative team, because uh, that was a great event. And uh, you know, it's great to see these things come back to our school because they're so good for students. Okay, the second thing I want to talk about, it's not quite as nice, I just wanted to talk about family. It was the theme of our grade level meetings. We finished each one of them with the thought that St. Thomas More is a giant family. And just a reminder of what family members do when they see conflict. Okay, they don't congregate. Families don't go and congregate at fights amongst their siblings. They, don't, they try to prevent such things. If you know something like that is happening, all you have to do is tell any responsible adult and we can prevent that. And, we, and if you fail to do that, you're going to have a, a lifetime of regrets if someone gets seriously hurt. Family members don't video and post and share these embarrassing videos online. Everybody thinks it's funny at times, but it's not going to be funny when someone gets hurt or a friend gets arrested or we have to call an ambulance, all of which happens at fights. Family members don't threaten each other online. You see, because smart people know that online threats might as well be in the newspaper because they are so public. Some people think the Snapchat, oh, it goes away in 24 hours, nobody will ever know. Uh, smart people know that those Snapchat things can be, pictures can be taken from a secondary phone. Every one of these things ends up in our office. So when you put it on Snapchat, you might as well be putting it in the Hamilton Spectator. Okay, and it comes back on you. And I'm asking you to behave like an STM family and it doesn't take all of us to do so to make it a better place. When you see something kicking up, if you're not involved in it, go tell an adult before someone gets hurt. And smart people also know that if they do any of the three things I just listed, congregate, post, threaten online, you're subjecting yourself to the same consequences as the people who are in the conflict. And don't put us in that situation because we're supposed to be behaving like responsible young adults in a school together. We have 2,000 people here. We have to coexist. We got to stop the conflict, but we're going to need some people who are not in the conflict to help us stop it. And finally, final thought for the day, we have a fire drill later today. So teachers, please just know your exits. Students, please be patient. Uh, we have to exit 2,000 people. So just take your time, get to the exits, and wait for the three exterior bells to initiate the return inside. It doesn't take too long, even though it's a big operation. It's a little chilly outside, but you guys will be all right. Have a great day. That was a great segue into me, so thank you, Mr. Daly. If you feel so inclined to fight, I'm Madame West, and I'm here to talk about the wrestling team. Wrestling is now back. Practice will not start until after Thanksgiving, we are, but we are having a very brief meeting Tuesday after school in the cafeteria. This is when we'll give out forms and discuss the practice schedule. If you're interested in wrestling, no experience is required. We will teach you everything you need to know. So whether you're big, small, male, female, grade nine or grade 12 plus, all are welcomed and encouraged to come out. Because it's a sport divided by weight divisions, you will only wrestle people the same size as you. So really, the smaller, bigger, even average size, it all works out. Um, so, when, wrestling is also a winter sport. So you can still join the team if you're involved in a fall sport, all right? If you can't make Tuesday's meeting, please see myself, Mr. O'Sullivan, Mr. Medeiros, or Ms. Napoleone sometime next week to get the forms. I know Mr. O'Sullivan and Mr. Medeiros might not look like super approachable, but they actually love to talk to people. They love small talk, they love answering questions. So if you have any questions, if you see either of them, they'll be like ecstatic to talk to you. Okay, so hope to see you all Tuesday after school in the cafeteria. Good morning, STM. My name is Kiata. And my name is Madeline. And here are your announcements for today. Yesterday, the STM baseball team defeated St. John Henry Newman 6-4 in a complete seven inning game. Alex and Avery pitched very well. Hudson had a triple inning in the first inning and scored to ignite the offense. Stefan ended the game with an unassisted double play with the bases loaded in the bottom of the seventh inning. 
Our next game is on Tuesday. If you missed the announcements or would like to hear them again, you can view the Seymour broadcast on the school website at stm.hwcdsb.ca. Announcements are also posted on the bulletin board outside of the main office. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Good morning, STM. I'm Giselle, your spiritual rep. And I'm Lola, your tech rep. Last night's grade 9 dance was a huge success. It wouldn't have been possible, possible without the help of everyone who was part of the event. We'd like to thank admin, the student council, advisors, and Mr. S. Silvestri for supervising this event. We would also like to thank the prefects for their help in running the dance, Mr. Caterino for taking photos for the yearbook, and Halloween for Hunger for selling refreshments. And la last but not least, a huge thank you to all the grade nines that came to our grade nine dance last night. It was so amazing to be a part of. But lastly, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at STM underscore council. Thanks, STM. Thanks, STM. STM, that's all of your announcements. The time is now 8.22. Have a great day.